Hello there, this is Asok Rizal. I hope you are fine. Today in our English class, we will talk about the smallest unit in language, linguistics, grammar, etc. Word. It reminds me of Hamlet. When he was asked what he was reading, he replied, words, words, words. Words are very powerful. We use words. I'm using words. You also use words. We communicate by using words. But what exactly is word? Word is the representation of our ideas. Whatever we feel, we just use words. They represent our ideas. They are the meaningful. They are the smallest unit of meaning is Finch. Linguist Finch had defined. According to Finch, a word is a smallest unit. Meaning. Unit of meaning. So, meaning, word has its meaning. Alright. We will talk about the definition of words. And I am not the person to define the words, uh, the word words, you know, already defined by certain, you know, linguists. Let's take a look at the definition first. According to Finch, a unit of meaning. Word is a unit of meaning. According to Richard and Schmidt, the smallest of linguistic unit. Word is the smallest of linguistic, grammatical, we should not get confused, grammatical unit, linguistic unit, interchangeably we can use that. Which can occur on its own in speech or in writing. According to Richard and Schmidt, the, uh, what is the smallest of linguistic unit which can occur on its own in speech or writing. That's what word is. And why is uh, the study of word very important? We are the students of English. Grammar also, linguistics, whatever. We need to know the words. Because whenever we speak, we use words. Whenever we write, we use words. And spoken form of uh, uh, you know, communication is different from written form. What we do is that the meaning of word lies in stress. We stress. Stress means we put more force on certain syllable. Division of words are syllable. A word may be of different uh, syllables. Some are uh, two syllabic word. For example, water is two syllabic word. Car, one syllabic. Class, one syllabic. Like this. And there are many, many syllables also in the words. For example, if I say anti dish establishmentarianism a lot of syllables anti dish establishmentarianism six seven syllables okay uh, what my uh, what i wanted to say is that we put more force we say it with greater force in certain part of the syllable because whenever we speak at that time, we stress the word. If we want to pronounce the word properly, then uh, what is correct pronunciation? Correct pronunciation is nothing but stressing the right place. If we stress the right place, right syllable, then our pronunciation is correct pronunciation. All right. And there are other words like a, a simple word. A simple word is made up of only one morpheme. Morpheme is also the smallest unit of meaning here. Smallest unit of meaning. Morpheme can be smallest unit of meaning or a piece of word that contribute meaning. The meaning of morpheme is either the smallest unit of meaning or because morpheme can be word also sometimes uh, uh, they they come by, uh, you know, in the form of uh, prefix or suffix and they also 
become the part a piece of word that contribute meaning that is also morphine so what is a simple word now let's uh, try to find out if i say pen pen is a simple word because it is made up of only one free morphine it is a free morphine if i say class it's also free morphine one morphine if i say teacher teacher also has a, uh, only one morphine teach and sometimes you can also say to uh, er it also becomes two morphine teacher can be a noun also teach plus er teacher all right now let's talk about the complex word complex word words are also like say uh, you know sentence sentence are also simple sentence compound sentence complex sentence in the same way words are also simple word simple word are the words which have only one morpheme and uh, co uh, complex words are those words which are made up of one free morpheme plus other bound morpheme either it can be suffix or prefix uh, some parts may come before and some parts may come after. They are called prefix. If uh, the part of the word, piece of the word, you know, comes before, then that becomes prefix. If it comes after the word, then that is, uh, that is suffix. And then those, uh, uh, those are called, uh, you know, affix. We also sometimes uh, put some part... That is called infix, suffix, prefix, infix, affix. Affix means prefix or suffix. All right. Then compound word, for example, boy, plural form, boys. S is also one of the part, one of the parts. Slow. Okay. Ly, it becomes other part. Slowly, slowly two parts we have this is the piece of word that contribute meaning slow slowly and this type of words are called complex words complex words are generally made up of one free morpheme and the other one is bound morpheme uh, bound morpheme does not have meaning in order to uh, give meaning they are attached to the word root and then they uh, become meaningful Okay, the other one is compound word. We know uh, two words make one word. Compounding, compounding is generally two. Two words are blended together to make the word. For example, class teacher, head master, head mistress, white board, black board, black bird, like that. So uh, what's made up of generally two morphemes, two free morphemes, independently also they have meaning. For example, if I say uh, white, white also has the meaning, I'm wearing a white shirt. Uh, anyway, so uh, white and board, board also has its meaning. Class also has its meaning, teacher also has its meaning, so uh, free morphemes. Compound words are the words which are made up of two or uh, two free morphemes. Now, let's uh, take a look at other type of words. Generally, uh, words are broadly categorized into two. One is called content word. They are the key words in any sentence. Content words are the key words. They give the meaning. For example, nouns are content words. Verbs are content words. Adjectives are content words. Adverbs are content words. Whereas, and they are stressed. Why, why did I bring this reference is they are, you know, stressed. They are a certain part of these nouns and then verbs, adjectives, adverbs. They are uh, stressed. Whereas, other type of words, they are called functional words. Functional words are, uh, they are less important words. They come just to make the sentence grammatically correct. The words which come, is a, is a uh, you know a structural word also they are said structural or functional words 
are less important words. They don't contribute much to the meaning. They don't contribute meaning, but they come to, uh, you know, make the sentence grammatically correct. Those type of words are called functional words now. So we have come to under, uh, understand that the definition uh, given by uh, linguists about word because we need to know words are generally, you know, they, uh, they represent our idea. So they are, they are the manifestation of our ideas also we can say. And words is, uh, Finch has defined as a unit of meaning and it can also be uh, the sm uh, smallest linguistic unit which occur on its own in speech or writing according to two linguists. One is Richard and Schmidt. Uh, it's a recap also. And the other type is that words are generally categorized. We uh, say morphemes. Morphemes, okay. Morpheme is the st uh, study of words. Morphology is the uh, study of the, you know, structure of words because uh, words also have structure, okay. There is nothing unstructured, unmethodical. They are in other system. Language is a system. We should not forget that. So we should follow that system also. And because the words that we uh, say, you know, it gives meaning because there is consensus, all right. So let me uh, once again say simple words are made up of only one free morpheme. Only one free morpheme makes a single word. So they are called simple word. For example, pain, able, loud, clear, and complex words are added. Uh, one free morpheme and the other one is bound morpheme, be it a prefix or suffix. For example, boy becomes boys. Slow becomes slowly, uh, interested becomes, okay, interest becomes this and interest, it also. So they, uh, these are complex words. Compound words are made up of two free morphemes and they can stand on, uh, uh, you know, on their own. So thank you very much for uh, listening to me patiently. And I also would like to thank a lot for, uh, you know, liking my videos and then sharing with your friends and subscribing my channel. Uh, have a great day. See you next.